Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. For the union makes us strong. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. Socion must go. Socion must go. Or you must come in. 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 Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. For the union makes us strong. Solidarity. Go. Socion must go. Socion must go. Socion must go. To my surprise, I got information from the labor officer who has ballot papers already stamped for both the steering seats and the BC seats, telling me that he could not proceed. I think he knew beyond what I knew about this election. A letter was written from this branch by the branch secretary, which we received in very good time, but the, uh, the secretary general responded and did indicate that this letter had to be signed by the chairman, the executive secretary, John Luther Wesonga, and the treasurer of this branch. As I speak now, because I forwarded the letter to the branch chairman, as I speak now, as the national chairman, I have not seen the branch chairman anywhere. I have not seen the branch treasurer anywhere. I want to say here and now that part of the failure of this branch to hold election is in the hands or in the head, on the heads of the branch chairman and the branch treasurer. And for this, I don't think I'll mince any words. I want to put it straight to teachers of Mumia's branch. Talk to your branch chairman, talk to your branch treasurer. This is unacceptable. I want to promise the teachers of Mumias. Stay strong. We are working round the clock to make sure that the elections for this branch are held in very good time and before the national election. Any other elections in this region, we are going to sit as a steering, must be suspended until the elections of Mumia's branch are held in very good time. The Registrar of Trade Unions provided a letter that I'm holding here. did indicate that all elections of branches must end by 31st of March. Then two, the Secretary General acknowledged the letter by the Executive Secretary in this branch, but requested for the two signatures of the Chair and the treasurer, which I've just explained, could not be found. Not only the signature, but physically the treasurer and the chairman disappeared for reasons best known to them. Whether they have this branch at heart or not is one thing yet to be decided. It is shocking. It is true that there has been hearsay that a section of the BEC would not wish elections to be conducted because they know themselves as outright losers. The hearsay goes to say that there is a plan to nominate some officials to stand in for this branch. I'm the national chairman, and I'm telling this without mincing an outer of one, that the constitution of this great union is so clear. For one to hold office, you must go through the ballot. If somebody is cheating anybody around that shall be nominated for a position in the BEC, forget about it. Even school representatives are not nominated. They are all elected. And for a senior official in the branch to believe that he or she will wait for nominations, watch a year be Ashara. It will not help you. We must go for elections 
for those to be elected rightfully through the ballot to hold offices. And I want to reiterate here, we are not prepared to have Mumia's branch out when we are going for the national elections. What am I trying to say? Elections for Mumia's branch must be scheduled. And I talked to the registrar and the commissioner. Must be scheduled and conducted before the national elections, which are coming. And we are not going to spare anybody who is trying to confuse us all around. Teachers of this republic are tired. The teachers of this republic are tired. I want to repeat. And things must be put straight. If you think you can run around and mismanage this great union, we are telling you no. And I'm saying from the position of the chair, we cannot toil to have elections of a branch like this, a branch that has had elections suspended thrice. And then you come in to meander around and have these elections again postponed. We shall not forgive you. And I'm saying whoever you are, get it right. And when I say whoever you are, I hope you know what I'm talking about. We shall not play around with anybody. We shall not play around with anybody. If you think you can mismanage this great union, we are saying no. This is, this is, this is not a personal kiosk. It is not. And not fear elections by trying to put in people who you perceive to be your, 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 your lieutenant. Nobody shall be nominated. We shall all go through the ballot. Even I speaking here, I'm prepared to go through the ballot. Kwani kuna nini? Hiyo mchezo ikae mbali. Hiyo biashara ya pesa nani lazima izimike kabisa. And teachers of this republic need service. This union is in the hearts of all teachers in this republic. The fact that the check of system seems to be does not mean that teachers are not in this union. Teachers have their hearts in this union. And we shall not let this union go to the dogs. No, never. We must revive this union. And I want to say without mincing any single word, once more, the union must be back to its feet. The union must be strong once more. And we must know how to negotiate with the government in place. You cannot fight a government and expect to survive. No. Fighting a system is like hanging yourself. That is the position. I want to say it here as a chairman that I'll not leave any single bit of an item or an article in the Constitution to be raped. Nobody shall rape the Constitution. And we shall sit pretty well to see to it that the Constitution of the Kenya National Union of Teachers is followed to the letter. And that is why I took it upon myself to come to Mumia's branch and make sure that if elections are postponed, with very good reason, if elections are to be conducted much later, we shall schedule for the same. But anybody playing around, we are telling you, teachers are tired. We shall be in the boat of the progressive so, uh, forces in this country that have to revamp NAT and take it back to where Katumanga left it under Dongo. And we will not spare anybody whom we have seen messing us up to the level where we are today. We say this with a lot of bitterness because teachers have suffered in the hands of the employer and other systems just because we don't have a collective, focused, and organized voice. That is what we want to say in one unison voice. That we shall rally behind focused leadership. Mwenyekiti wetu wa kitaifa amekuwa hapa amejaribu lakini socio na forces zake na watu wengine wameamua kwamba tusiendelee na kura mpaka wakati atapenda mpaka wakati ataona kwamba wale wenye anataka wachukue viti wamefanya campaign ya kutosha that is the what is bedeviling us that his cronies and robots have not yet gotten ground to stand before teachers and be elected so he feels that he must give them more time as they man manipulate the situations ara but God being who is, how faithful he is, we are saying we must revive the union.